said these words. The citizen soldier must know what he is fighting for and love what he knows. In that spirit, Cromwell created a new army of the finest fighting men England had to that day known. We've done it again. Britain has made another new army. These men are tough. The experience of three years of war has gone into their training and into their weapons. These men, as he goes into battle, carries not only his arms and his technical military skills. Like the old iron five, he takes something more, a weapon of the mind. But this didn't happen overnight. There was a time, early on in the war, when this weapon lost its edge. The men who had come back from France, and were then standing by, waiting for invasion, had been through a mental blitz for which they were unprepared. This is the way they talked. Don't talk a lot of fight, but the fight is about the secret weapon. They say he's got a flying bomb with wireless direction finding on it. Good, good. Then why doesn't he use it? That's the edge. Well, he didn't take long to clean up in France. Well, you ought to know why. You were there. Yeah, that's right. That not everybody knows. Except the stuff they tell you. We don't know anything, Tom. Here. Don't you keep me up his sleeve? Keeping what? The secret weapon. Look, why should he? If he has what he's Rumor. Yeah. Everywhere men were speaking yeah. for the truth. The doubt and rumor can't be dispelled without a knowledge of the fact. These men were unprepared for mental attack. Every form of attack breeds its own defense. Against the mental attack, a new sort of defense was required. The mind must be trained as well as the body. So in the summer of 1941, the war artist embarked on an experiment.
so they can get through to India. Yes, sir. All right, Hawkins, it's a life on the Empire, sir. It's a place where he meets with. No, but if we didn't have the sewers, we could have the Navy in the Mediterranean. And besides... OK, you'll have another chance later. I see you've all got the idea. Obviously, we're asked to take the Egypt and cure it. As Hawkins said, they're vital to our control of the Mediterranean. But I'd like to give you another idea. We're not going to be on the defensive all the time. We're going to attack. We don't know where just yet. But isn't it possible that the attack may start from that part of the world? You be direct at the weak spot in the axis, Italy. Ammunition for mental warfare. Every week, the Army Bureau reaches a new camp. An up to exposition of a topical subject. Not to impose an official view, but to help the soldier to come to well-balanced views of his own. But Abco could only be as good as the officer who ran it. And for him, the Army started courses in how to conduct his own discussion group. You've not got an easy job, but you'll find that the more trouble you take, the more it will pay than the lightning of his face, which will men have for you. Running a good discussion group is a technique which you can learn like any other. That's not to say that officers might not have their own ways of doing things which are best for their own unit. One common fault is a tendency to lecture. I know that it's pleasant sometimes to hear the sound of your own voice, but that voice must be checked. So always remember that you are not a lecturer, you're a chairman. Now, for instance, however good you are, don't try to make it a brilliant one-man show. An increasing process of verbalization takes place. All of the things in the two commands of compensation of workers never take place. In the most convinced and political cities, we tend to show them friends of the life of the state. Yeah, we have just done that. Now, maybe it's an easy, unplanned way to put it to the test. Now, we say we can plan, we must plan something. Now, that sort of thing gives men an inferiority complex. On the other hand, it's no use having a chairman if he's not going to hold the chair. So you want to avoid the opposite of the Amco soon develops beyond the discussion group. At once, a hundred new ideas suggest themselves. The wall map. With the day's news, he can just take to the spot on the world where it happened. Photo display. Men could soak in the subject before they came to talk about it. The wall newspaper. It gives a man of proper pride to see his name in print. And that starts something else that's very important. A sense of his own value as an individual. And there were other bright ideas. Next question. In the Midway Island battle, the American fleet destroyed and damaged how many just forces? Five, nine, or twenty? I will repeat that. In the Midway Island battle, the American fleet destroyed how many just forces? Was it five, or nine, or seven? Twenty, wasn't it? Uh, no. How many aircraft did they destroy? Ninety five, a hundred and forty seven, or two hundred and seventy five? As the war expands, so do men's minds. The more we know of our allies, the stronger the bonds between us. Now, I want you to ask yourself, how was it that a nation, 30, 25 years ago, went through all the horrors of civil war and revolution, the savage, play, and the complete destruction of its industry, was able to build up an army, half enough to stand up to and lift the Germans? I think it's their free their own Roman subjects. You just can't beat that sort of thing. That's all right for them. What about us, though? We don't own our country. They don't talk to a lot of rot. Why do you think that's rot, Robertson? It is our country. And if there is injustice in a 
quality. It's powerful for a lung. Why not like going and say about it? Yes, that's just it. We've got a parliament. And it's up to us to say who goes there, to make sure they do the job when they get there. It's no use deviating and doing nothing about it. The idea behind that, sir, has taken root in the army. Our American allies carry on the good work of getting to know one another better.